Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. And this week on the old Magic Roundabout, we've got a uh, Dinky Toys Ford Escort Mark 1, everybody's favourite. Everybody's favourite Ford Mark 1 Escort. So as you watch this go round, I'd just like to welcome any new friends of the channel. Welcome aboard. And uh, welcome back all the old friends of the channel. Thanks for your support. And um, it's much appreciated. So, that being said, let's get it off the magic, get it on the bench, and have a good look at it. Here we are then, we're on the bench, let's get comfy. Yep, let's have a look at it. I thought I got a bit of a stiff back today, got a bad back today. Dinky Toys, Ford Escort, made in England. It is a Mark 1 and it's number 168, so that's 168. Okay, yep, yeah. it's been overpainted, it was... Pale blue. I can't see. You know, hadn't got, wasn't got police on it, so you're okay with that. We've got the tyres, okay. We've got the hubs are okay. Bumpers, okay. Boot opens. Bonnet opens. Got a bit of an engine in there. Glasses seems to be good in there, okay. Doors open, as you can see, this one keeps swinging open, but it's pushed in. Okay, so that's all pushed that he's looking at. I think I know what the problem is there, and I'll show you when we get round to it. This one's okay. This one's okay. And the problem is, and what you'll see in a minute, and I'll show you. I'll show you briefly, then I'll show you better when I take it out. You see that there? That piece of plastic there on the floor, that is what stops the door going any further. If you'll see, I hope it's not going to prove me wrong, that bit is not on, it's broken. Yeah, so therefore the door gets pushed in. If it was there, then the door wouldn't go in so far. That's your problem. But you also do get these tops of the windows do bend in depending on how the kids shutting it. The kid shuts it like that or puts a lot of pressure on it. I say kid, it could be anybody really, I suppose. Could be dad. Right, anyway, no further ado. Screw base. One screw. Big old chunky dinky screw. Look at that. Self-tapping screw. So that's off. Base should lift and separate. And it goes over the back. You see, look, we put it out of the back. There you go. That's when it comes out of the back. No suspension as such on this. I'm not sure how these hubs will come out. I, th um, I think they'll pull out. But we'll have to have a look. We'll have to have a look. We'll look at that in a minute. So that's the, the bottom. The interior should just... I don't know which way it'll come out. We'll try from the back. It might be the case both doors need opening. Quite a lot of these, both doors need opening to get it out. Yeah, it looks like it, yeah. There you go, there she comes. Flip it over. There's your seats. There and there. That's a piece of your bonnet hinge rise up and down on as you can clearly see now if i lift them seats forward get out there that's a piece to stop your door going too far and that's a piece that's broken off as you can see that's your problem that's why your door's going like that so we're going to build it up with a bit of the old super duper as you do yeah we're driving on the right side of the road which is cool so that's the interior the doors, usual format, lift, twist, lift, twist, bonnet, just pull that out somehow I think, it would just, there you go, it just comes out, same as the boot, bit of jiggery pokery and a windscreen, lucky for me, no soldering iron required. 
There's the engine. There you go. I hope they took the thermostat out of this. Because that's what we used to do with these buggers, mate. Take the thermostat out straight away because they were buggers. Yeah. I've owned a few of these in my time. Yeah, these window screens, window frames look fairly straight. Yeah, they could you could tweak them in a bit. We'll see in a minute when we get caustic soda on it and get all that out. But yeah, they're not too bad. They're not broken anywhere. No broken pillars. So we're on a good one. It was the pale blue one. But we, I don't know, we're not going to do a pale blue. It's a boring colour, isn't it? On it. Boot. Okay. We're not going to do Escort Mexico or RS, whatever. We're just going to do a plain ordinary working man's Escort. The windscreen's all right. Look at that. That's good. That was a bullet with that, didn't they? Okay. There we go then. So we're ready for caustic. I'm not sure about these wheels. Give me a second. Let's see if, I'll, see if they'll come off by just gently manoeuvring the hub. I don't know. They're a bit tight. I have to investigate this. The tyres are okay. They can come off. I don't know if the puller will work on here. To be honest with you, it might not work on this one. Excuse me, keep swapping hands back and forwards, but I don't know if the puller will work on this one. To be honest with you, I can't be hundred percent sure. Come here. Where's the other one going? There it is. We'll try it, but because there's no pin to to, uh, to put it onto, I'm not sure if it will come off. I don't want to. Let me just zoom out. That's a bit too. I don't want to do any damage. There's not a lot of room in here to get that in there. No, I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to break it because there's not a lot of room to get the puller in there, to be honest with you. And I think the base ain't too bad and the hubs ain't too bad. So I'm going to just wire wheel it down. That's fine. So that saves a problem. You don't really, when you've got good wheels like this and good hubs, and, you know, clearly that is not going to go in there properly. And I could carry on forcing this if I wanted to but then I could got force of bending this axle or you know it's gonna not it's not really worth it or do some damage to the bodywork and considering this is reasonably clean you know there's a little bit of paint around the edge it's reasonably clean I can keep this and clean it up without too much effort that will just save doing any further damage to it if you could avoid damage obviously you're gonna you're gonna want you I mean, if this was overpainted or in a bad state, then I'd have to dip it or do something with it and polish these up later. Right, okay, caustic soda timing. Right, that's out of the caustic soda. Here we go. Body. And all the bits and bobs. Come out quite a nice colour, come off quite quick. Right, what I'm doing here, this is the original side when it came out of caustic and you can see that line there that ridge line there but it's not any there's no trim down there's not a trim line there's no chrome trim or anything on it but it's a bit sharp if you have a look it's the edge is very sharp more like a big lip and the original one to one was more rounded than that it, it, it was a difference in body shape that came down but it wasn't a bloody great square like that. So what I've done here, this side, I've just took the edge off. That's all you've got to do, just take the edge off. Yeah, just make it a little bit rounded so it flows. That's what I've done here. I think it looks a bit better. So when the paint goes on, it's not hanging on the edge. Yeah, so we've done that and removed the casting line there and there. 
and uh, tied up around these edges. So you can see this side. I've got to do all this side yet. Yeah, I've got to do the edge, the casting line, and smooth out this trim round here because that's uh, a bit beat up. But apart from that, it's really the only casting lines were there and there. And a little bit of the front, not not too much on these actually. So it's pretty good. Pretty good. So that's where we are at the moment with this. And what I'm doing is just, just filing it off. Um, just gently. You don't have to go mad. And just giving it a little bit. Just taking the edge off like that. It helps with the paint as well. When you If you've got too much of a step in it. You could end up getting uh, your paint clogged up on that step. So just gently, just taking it off. You don't want it flat to the body because it's it wasn't that it was just like a, a shape. Uh, if I'm trying to find the right words so, for it, so just gently going along, just taking the edge off, like you would on a bit of timber. You know when it's got an edge on it, just to give it some of that. And I'll just get it shaped with the file and then I'll go over the sandpaper and smooth it off. This end was quite prominent. It's got a step in that. Look, you can just about see that it's quite a step. It doesn't need to be as big as that. At the front of the wing, there's hardly any, but the back here is quite a bit. So you've got to look at it. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. It's just a case of, um, I see it and I thought, well, it didn't quite look right. In my personal opinion anyway, but like I say, you do what you want to do. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. Just take it off like that. Take that bit off where the casting line comes down from the window as well. You don't want that on, do we? I just took the edge off it down there. We'll get rid of this casting line. Yeah. Don't got to go too deep, too forceful with your file. You're just basically taking the top edge off. I mean, sometimes you can even see these casting lines after you took them off because they are quite deep into the casting. And you don't want to take too much off because you end up with a dip in your bodywork. You don't want that, do you? And the day, you're just doing the best you can to make it look as respectable and decent as you want it. There you go. Right, I'm not going to spend too long doing that because it will take you just feel a bit of ridge. I'm going to carry on with that. Carry on with that edge. That's basically what I've been doing. And then we'll get a coat of paint on it. We'll get some primer on it. It's going red. Because this is uh, like mine. I had a red one of these. Um, so I'm going to do it similar to mine. Just a bog standard, everyday working man's car. Nothing fancy. Alrighty, let me carry on with that. Okay, it's going to give you a quick demo. <coughs> the engine's done anyway. Uh, of this. I've got a um, 0.5 in. In a minute. I've done a bit. So I'm just going to... You're gonna you're practicing along with me because I haven't done this before. Only like a little go at it on a piece of uh, old casting. So I dipped it in the paint, not too much. Seems to run along all right. It's like everything else. It's not the the magic wand of painting, obviously. You've got to take your time, work with it, practice, see how I get on. But it seems to be working all right. I mean, you've got to keep dipping it in and out, not like a brush, but I like to try 
different ideas. But yeah, it seems to be working. Seems to be working. It's getting it's working out there getting the right amount of paint on the end of your tip. But the benefit here was going around that headlight. If I was doing it with a brush, I'd be struggling with that getting paint everywhere on that on that corner. So that's a bit of a bonus, if nothing else. Yeah, it got round there nicely, look. Anyway. Practice a practice. And when the old nib gets clogged up, when it gets the uh, pencil gets clogged up, you just uh, snap it off and start a bit further down. So, and I think also you can get nice thin lines with that. Nice thin lines. Right, okay, let me carry on with that then. Eh? But yeah, it's coming on, look. There's a little bit I've got to do in here. Touch up with a bit of black just there. But you're going to get that and run your practicing. And this is on lacquer, by the way, not on a matte surface. So a matte surface would probably be a bit better, but um, oh, it's gone out of focus there. Eh? Yeah, there you go. Alrighty. Okay, all the details are done. Here we go. The plate's on. Yeah, pretty good. Turn the engine black, bit of dry brushing. That's the back. We're all done. I've noticed, look here, look. A couple of paint chips. That's going to be in dry fit in the doors. And like I said in the previous video, you get too much paint because these... There's more paint on here now than there was in the factory, let's put it that way. And opening and shutting the doors and getting them to fit right. I've chipped the paint there and there, so... It is what it is. Not much I can do about it in a minute. So what I'm going to do is going to um, get it all done. Get it all together so I don't have to muck about with it. And then um, touch these up. It's not a real problem. So I've done them. I did manage to... I scraped a bit of this off the door. Forward on there. Just managed to get it very carefully. But we got it right. Um, I did a bit of internals. Painted a black panel with the key fit handles. Keep fit window wipers, window handles. Um, with the wheels, what I've done with these, if you notice, the hubcaps, because these had steel wheels with hubcaps on. So I've kept the outer a bit duller and I've polished up the hubcaps to make them stand out a bit more. And I use the Molotov chrome on the bumper there, okay? Because I want to contrast with this grill because the grill was more of an aluminium didn't shine as much as the bumper so I'll get the magic carpet out and uh, we'll get this back together again hopefully without chipping any more paint I want to paint the interior black right back in a second alrighty here we go wait 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 glass in Get it the right way around, blank. Glass in. Uh, yeah, I need to put the bonnet in first. Get it in. This is a bit of a tight fit, actually, as it happens. That one in there. Swing the boot in. Hopefully it's a hold in place, because it's a bit airy-fairy, is the boot. 
Now, with this, I had this is what I was messing about with trying to get this um, work it out. I couldn't remember how to get the doors in and out uh, with the interior in or the interior out. And you really better, better off doing it with the interior in. Try and do this without losing the without losing the boot like that you watch me go and chip the friggin boot now there we go so much for dry fitting didn't work out very well did it where's my long tweezers where are they gone there they are Right. right, you get in there and you stay in there. Right, I should stay in there now. I can tip this up without the boot falling out. Yep, it seems to be all right. Now the doors. Get the right one, idiot. Now this is where it's a bit tricky getting these in here. Because I found, I mean, there's probably, I'm probably doing it wrong, but. I did find. Let's see, I get one in. But doing it this way was that little bit easier. That side more than this, I must admit. And trying to do it without, with the interior. It, out you couldn't get the dashboard over the doors that's the problem I was having with it but it's just a matter of getting a knack of getting these in here but we'll get there we'll get there we'll get there we go that's in we'll get there that's it that's it that's it that's it Bonnets down, windows in place. There we go. Now we should be able to, where is it? Hook that over the back, that's correct. For all intents and purposes, we're done. We are done. Apart from the chips, it looks all right. Which is a shame, really. Yeah. Yeah, apart from them chips there, it's a shame. Yeah, come out all right. Boot opens. One it opens. Doors open. We know their doors open. Might as well give you a demo before we uh, go get my finger in there somehow. <laughs> Yeah, well, they, they do open us, but that way I'm not going to force them too much because the uh, I don't want to. There you go. That's it. So I'm going to chip it, chip this paint. I've already chipped it, and I. Yeah, it looks all right actually. Pretty good. A bit of a a, a paint chip and a polish up. We'll get it on the magic roundabout then and we'll see what she's like. That's 
shit. There you go. That window's all lined up there now. So I'm just procrastinating here, making sure I don't push it in too far. That stops in there. Yeah, this stop here is a bit worn, I think. Just going to tweak that window out a bit. That's better. Right, here we go. This is what we started with. Old uh, Ford Escort Mark 1. A bit overpainted. So now, have a look. See what we've done with it. See what you think. And have a look at this. Feast your eyes on this. Okay, okay then. Here we are, all done and dusted. Dinky toy, dinky toys, Ford Escort Mark One. I've had to remove one of the LED lights at the back of this light box because the light was bouncing off this red. It was giving it an almost glare. It looks orange through the camera, but it's not. It's, it's definitely red. It's just this light is not perfect in this light box. I'm not very good at doing lighting and shit like that. But yeah, details at the front, as you saw. I've done a bit of touching up. It's not dry yet, because I've only just done it, so I'm not going to open the doors or anything else. But yeah, it's all done. You see it all opening and closing anyway, so you know how it is. Yeah, it looks quite nice. It is a nice colour red, I must admit. It is. Yeah, there you go. I was going to put this on the garage, but I've got a lot of stuff around the garage at the moment and uh, I'm having a bit of a tidy up, so I haven't dug it out yet. But yeah. Anyway, onwards and upwards to the next one. Thanks for watching. Look forward to your comments. And we'll see you all next week with another video. So whatever you're doing, be happy, look after yourselves, especially in this festive season. We'll get out and we'll see you next week then. See you later. Bye for now. And we'll cut it in a second.